Near-Earth Objects, An Introduction to Near-Earth Objects and Efforts to Survey Them Near-Earth Objects, Introduction to Near-Earth Objects and Efforts to Study Them Near-Earth Objects, NEOs, are asteroids, comets, and other celestial bodies that orbit the Sun and close to Earth's orbit. These objects are of interest to scientists and astronomers because of their potential impact on Earth and their potential as resources for future space exploration. In this article, we will provide an introduction to NEOs and efforts to study them. Types of Near-Earth Objects NEOs can be categorized into several types based on their characteristics. One type of NEO is the Apollo asteroids, which have orbits that cross Earth's orbit. Another type is the Amor asteroids, which have orbits that come close to Earth's orbit but do not cross it. Finally, there are the Atira asteroids, which have orbits that are entirely within the orbit of Earth. In addition to asteroids, there are also comets that are considered NEOs. These comets have highly elliptical orbits that bring them close to the Sun and Earth. They are of interest to scientists because of their potential to provide insights into the early solar system and the origins of life on Earth. Efforts to study near-Earth objects Studying NEOs is important because of the potential impact they could have on Earth. For example, the impact of an asteroid could cause widespread destruction and loss of life. Therefore, there are ongoing efforts to study NEOs and understand their characteristics and potential impact. One of the primary methods used to study NEOs is through ground-based observations using telescopes. These observations can provide information about the size, shape, and composition of NEOs. In addition, space-based telescopes, such as the Hubble Space Telescope, can provide more detailed observations of NEOs. Another method used to study NEOs is through space missions. For example, NASA's Near Shoemaker mission, which launched in 1996, was the first spacecraft to orbit and land on an asteroid. The mission provided important insights into the composition and structure of asteroids. NASA and other space agencies also have ongoing missions dedicated to studying NEOs. For example, the OSIRIS-REx mission is a NASA mission that launched in 2016 and is currently studying the asteroid Bennu. The mission will collect samples from the asteroid and return them to Earth for analysis. Conclusion In conclusion, NEOs are a fascinating and important topic in space science. The potential impact of these objects on Earth highlights the need for ongoing efforts to study and understand them. Through ground-based observations and space missions, scientists and astronomers are working to gather information about NEOs and their characteristics. These efforts will continue to provide important insights into the early solar system, the potential for resources in space, and the potential threats to our planet. Potential Risks and Mitigation Strategies While studying NEOs is important to understand their characteristics, it is also essential to identify potential risks and develop mitigation strategies to protect Earth from their impact. The impact of a large asteroid or comet could have catastrophic consequences, including massive destruction and loss of life. Therefore, it is crucial to develop strategies to detect and deflect NEOs that could pose a threat to our planet. One approach to detecting NEOs is through ground-based and space-based telescopes that can identify NEOs that come close to Earth. The NEO Observations Program at NASA uses ground-based telescopes to detect and track NEOs. And the agency's Planetary Defense Coordination Office is responsible for identifying and mitigating potential NEO impact threats. Another approach to detecting NEOs is through the use of spacecraft that can visit and study these objects. These missions can provide detailed information about the characteristics of NEOs 
and help identify potential impact risks. For example, NASA's DART mission, which is set to launch in 2021, will visit and deflect a small asteroid to test the feasibility of using spacecraft to deflect larger NEOs that pose a threat to Earth. If a potentially hazardous NEO is identified, mitigation strategies can be implemented to deflect or destroy the object. One approach is through the use of a kinetic impactor, which involves colliding a spacecraft into the NEO to change its trajectory. Another approach is the use of a gravity tractor, which involves using the gravitational pull of a spacecraft to slowly alter the NEO's orbit. Conclusion In conclusion, the study of NEOs is not only important for understanding the characteristics of these objects but also for identifying potential risks and developing mitigation strategies to protect Earth from their impact. Efforts to detect and track NEOs, as well as space missions to study and test potential mitigation strategies, are ongoing. These efforts will continue to provide important insights into the potential threats and opportunities associated with NEOs. As technology continues to advance, the future of NEO research and mitigation looks promising. And we can hope that we will be able to protect our planet from the potential threats of these celestial objects. Resource Potential of Near-Earth Objects In addition to their potential impact on Earth, NEOs also have significant resource potential. Some NEOs contain valuable metals and minerals, such as platinum and gold, that could be extracted and used for commercial purposes. Additionally, water is a crucial resource in space exploration, and some NEOs are believed to contain significant amounts of water that could be used for space missions. Efforts are underway to study the resource potential of NEOs and develop technologies for mining and extracting resources from these objects. One such effort is the Asteroid Retrieval and Utilization ARU, mission proposed by NASA, which would capture a small asteroid and place it in a stable lunar orbit for mining and study. There are also several private companies, such as Planetary Resources and Deep Space Industries, that are focused on mining and extracting resources from NEOs. These companies are developing technologies for asteroid prospecting, mining, and refining, with a goal of developing a sustainable space economy. While there is significant potential for resource extraction from NEOs, there are also significant technical and logistical challenges associated with these efforts. For example, the extraction and transportation of resources from NEOs to Earth or other destinations in space would require significant technological advancements and infrastructure development. Conclusion In conclusion, the resource potential of NEOs presents significant opportunities for commercial space exploration and development. Efforts to study the resource potential of these objects and develop technologies for resource extraction are ongoing, and the potential for a sustainable space economy is becoming more feasible. However, there are also significant challenges associated with resource extraction from NEOs. The formation of the universe, explain the formation of the universe and theories related to it. The formation of the universe, explaining the formation of the universe and related theories. The universe is a vast and complex entity that contains billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars. The formation of the universe is a subject of ongoing research and investigation. In this article, we will explore the current understanding of the formation of the universe and related theories. The Big Bang Theory The most widely accepted theory for the formation of the universe is the Big Bang Theory. According to this theory, the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature. This singularity underwent a rapid expansion, known as inflation which occurred within a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. 
this rapid expansion led to the formation of matter and radiation in the universe. The expansion of the universe continues to this day, and it is believed that it will continue to expand indefinitely. The evidence for the Big Bang theory comes from the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is believed to be the afterglow of the Big Bang. The cosmic microwave background radiation was first detected in the 1960s and has been studied extensively since then. Other theories While the Big Bang theory is the most widely accepted theory for the formation of the universe, there are other theories that have been proposed. One such theory is the steady-state theory, which suggests that the universe has always existed and that new matter is continuously being created. However, this theory has been largely discredited due to the lack of evidence to support it. Another theory is the cyclic model, which suggests that the universe goes through an endless cycle of expansion and contraction. This theory proposes that the Big Bang was not the beginning of the universe but rather the end of a previous cycle. While this theory is still being studied, it is not widely accepted due to the lack of evidence to support it. Conclusion In conclusion, the formation of the universe is a subject of ongoing research and investigation. The most widely accepted theory for the formation of the universe is the Big Bang Theory which suggests that the universe began as a singularity and underwent a rapid expansion. While there are other theories that have been proposed, such as the steady-state theory and the cyclic model, the Big Bang theory is currently the most widely accepted theory among scientists. As our understanding of the universe continues to deepen, further research and investigation will be necessary to fully understand the formation of the universe and the forces that shape it, the formation of the universe, the role of dark matter and dark energy. While the Big Bang theory provides a framework for understanding the formation of the universe, it does not explain everything. Two mysterious forces, known as dark matter and dark energy, play a significant role in the behavior and evolution of the universe. Dark matter. Dark matter is a type of matter that does not interact with light or other forms of electromagnetic radiation, making it invisible to telescopes and other detection methods. Despite its invisibility, scientists estimate that dark matter makes up approximately 27% of the universe. The role of dark matter in the formation of the universe is significant. It is believed that the gravitational pull of dark matter played a critical role in the formation of galaxies and other large structures in the universe. The gravitational pull of dark matter is thought to have caused gas and dust to clump together, eventually forming galaxies and other structures. While the existence of dark matter is widely accepted, its nature and properties remain a mystery. Scientists are still studying dark matter and trying to understand its role in the universe. Dark energy Dark energy is another mysterious force that plays a significant role in the behavior of the universe. Unlike dark matter, which has a gravitational effect on objects in the universe, dark energy is believed to be causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate. The existence of dark energy was first suggested in the late 1990s, based on observations of distant supernovae. These observations showed that the expansion of the universe was accelerating, rather than slowing down as expected. The existence of dark energy was proposed as an explanation for this unexpected acceleration. The role of dark energy in the formation of the universe is not fully understood, but it is believed to have played a critical role in the expansion of the universe since the Big Bang. While the nature of dark energy remains a mystery, scientists are studying it and trying to understand its properties and effects. Conclusion In conclusion, the formation of the universe is a complex and mysterious process that involves many different forces and factors. 
Dark matter and dark energy are two mysterious forces that play significant roles in the behavior and evolution of the universe. While their exact nature and properties remain a mystery, scientists continue to study them and try to understand their roles in the universe. As our understanding of the universe continues to deepen, further research and investigation will be necessary to fully understand the formation of the universe and the forces that shape it. The Formation of the Universe, The Role of Cosmic Inflation Cosmic inflation is a theory that was first proposed in the 1980s as an explanation for several mysteries surrounding the formation of the universe. It suggests that the universe underwent a brief period of extremely rapid expansion, known as inflation, shortly after the Big Bang. The theory of cosmic inflation was developed to address several puzzles in the Big Bang theory, such as the uniformity of the universe on a large scale and the flatness of space. Cosmic inflation proposes that the universe expanded exponentially in the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang, causing it to become extremely flat and uniform. The idea of cosmic inflation is supported by several lines of evidence, including observations of the cosmic. Microwave background radiation, the large-scale structure of the universe, and the distribution of galaxies. These observations provide strong evidence that the universe underwent a period of rapid expansion shortly after the Big Bang. The role of cosmic inflation in the formation of the universe is significant. It is believed that the rapid expansion caused by inflation was responsible for the creation of the large-scale structure of the universe, including the formation of galaxies and clusters of galaxies. Inflation also smoothed out the universe, making it uniform on a large scale, and it may have even created the seeds for the formation of matter in the universe. While the theory of cosmic inflation is widely accepted, it is not without its challenges. One challenge is the lack of direct evidence for inflation, as it occurred in the very early universe and may have left few observable traces. However, ongoing research and investigation may provide more evidence for the theory in the future. Conclusion In conclusion, cosmic inflation is a theory that proposes that the universe underwent a period of extremely rapid expansion shortly after the Big Bang. It provides an explanation for several mysteries in the Big Bang theory and is supported by a growing body of observational evidence. The role of cosmic inflation in the formation of the universe is significant, as it is believed to have played a critical role in the creation of the large-scale structure of the universe and the formation of matter. Black Hole Imaging, Observation Techniques and Human Visualization of Black Holes The Image of Black Holes, Observational Techniques and Human Understanding Black holes are one of the most fascinating and mysterious objects in the universe. They are so massive and dense that their gravity is strong enough to prevent anything, including light, from escaping. Despite their importance in understanding the universe, black holes have remained largely invisible to scientists until very recently. Observational Techniques Over the past few years, scientists have developed new observational techniques that have allowed them to capture images of black holes for the first time. One such technique is known as Very Long Baseline Interferometry, VLB, which involves combining data from multiple radio telescopes around the world to create an image of the black hole. Another technique involves studying the behavior of stars and other celestial objects that are in close proximity to a black hole. By studying the orbits of these objects, scientists can infer the presence of a black hole and estimate its size and mass. Human Understanding Despite the recent breakthrough in capturing images of black holes, our understanding of these objects remains limited. Black holes are so massive and dense that they violate many of the laws of physics as we understand them, 
making them difficult to study and comprehend. To help understand black holes, scientists have relied on mathematical models and computer simulations. These tools allow scientists to explore the behavior of black holes and the effects of their gravity on the surrounding environment. Human understanding of black holes is also influenced by popular culture and science fiction. Movies and television shows often depict black holes as dangerous and mysterious objects that threaten the safety of space travelers. While these depictions are not entirely accurate, they have contributed to the public's fascination with black holes and their desire to learn more about them. Conclusion In conclusion, the recent breakthrough in capturing images of black holes has opened up new opportunities for scientists to study and understand these mysterious objects. New observational techniques and mathematical models have provided insight into the behavior of black holes and their effects on the surrounding environment. However, our understanding of black holes remains limited, and they continue to be a subject of fascination and mystery for both scientists and the general public. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to learn more about black holes and their place in the universe. Black Holes, Theories on Formation and Evolution Black holes are some of the most enigmatic and intriguing objects in the universe. They are formed when a massive star collapses under its own gravity, creating a region of space where the gravitational pull is so strong that not even light can escape. While black holes have been studied for many years, there is still much we do not know about their formation and evolution. Theories on Formation One theory on black hole formation is that they are created when a massive star runs out of fuel and its core collapses under the force of gravity. As the star's core collapses, it becomes denser and denser, eventually creating a singularity, a point of infinite density, at its center. Another theory is that black holes are formed through the merger of two smaller black holes. This process can occur when two galaxies collide, bringing their black holes together and causing them to merge into a single, larger black hole. Theories on Evolution Black holes are thought to evolve over time through a process called accretion. This process occurs when matter, such as gas and dust, falls into a black hole, increasing its mass and gravitational pull. As a black hole's mass increases, so too does its gravitational pull. This can lead to the formation of an accretion disk, a swirling disk of hot gas and dust that surrounds the black hole. The accretion disk can become so hot and bright that it emits large amounts of radiation, making it visible to telescopes. Over time, a black hole's accretion disk can become depleted, causing the black hole to become quiescent and invisible. However, black holes can become active again if they merge with another black hole or if they accrete more matter from a nearby star or gas cloud. Conclusion In conclusion, while much is still unknown about the formation and evolution of black holes, scientists have developed several theories on how these mysterious objects are created and change over time. The formation of black holes is thought to occur when a massive star collapses or when two smaller black holes merge. Black holes are believed to evolve over time through accretion, a process in which they gain mass and create accretion disks that emit radiation. As technology and observation techniques continue to improve, we can expect to gain even more insight into the nature and behavior of black holes. The Connection Between Black Holes and Galaxies Black holes are not only fascinating objects in their own right, but they also play a crucial role in the formation and evolution of galaxies. 
The relationship between black holes and galaxies is complex and still not fully understood, but scientists have made significant progress in recent years in unraveling this connection. The Role of Black Holes in Galaxy Formation Black holes are thought to play a crucial role in the formation of galaxies. When a massive star collapses and forms a black hole, it can release enormous amounts of energy in the form of jets of high-energy particles. These jets can interact with surrounding gas and dust, triggering the formation of new stars and influencing the structure and evolution of the galaxy. Black holes can also have a profound impact on the central regions of galaxies. When a black hole accretes matter from its surroundings, it can emit large amounts of radiation and energy, heating up the gas and dust around it. This process can inhibit the formation of new stars and alter the structure of the galaxy. The Connection Between Black Holes and Galaxies The connection between black holes and galaxies is not just a one-way street. The properties and behavior of a galaxy can also influence the formation and behavior of black holes within it. For example, the mass and structure of a galaxy can have a profound impact on the growth and activity of its central black hole. Scientists have found that the most massive galaxies tend to have the most massive black holes at their centers. and that the rate of star formation in a galaxy can influence the rate at which its black hole grows. In addition, the behavior of black holes can also affect the overall evolution of a galaxy. The powerful jets of energy and radiation emitted by black holes can influence the distribution of gas and dust within a galaxy. Affecting the rate of star formation and the overall structure of the galaxy. Conclusion In conclusion, the connection between black holes and galaxies is complex and multifaceted, with each influencing the formation and evolution of the other. Black holes play a crucial role in the formation of galaxies, triggering the formation of new stars and altering the structure and behavior of the galaxy. At the same time, the properties and behavior of a galaxy can influence the growth and activity of its central black hole. As our understanding of black holes and galaxies continues to grow, we can expect to gain even more insight into the nature of this important connection. Explore the universe through spaceships and robots. Exploring the universe through spacecraft and robotics. The exploration of the universe is a complex and challenging endeavor that requires the use of advanced technology and scientific knowledge. Spacecraft and robotics play a significant role in this endeavor, providing scientists with the tools they need to explore and study the universe. Spacecraft Spacecraft are vehicles designed to operate in space, allowing scientists to explore the universe beyond the limits of the Earth's atmosphere. There are many types of spacecraft, including satellites, probes, and manned vehicles. Satellites are spacecraft that orbit the Earth or other celestial bodies, allowing scientists to study these bodies from a distance. Satellites can be used to study the atmosphere, weather patterns, and the behavior of celestial bodies. Probes are unmanned spacecraft designed to explore the solar system and beyond. Probes can be sent to study planets, asteroids, and comets, providing scientists with detailed information about these objects. Manned vehicles, such as the International Space Station and the Space Shuttle, allow astronauts to live and work in space. These vehicles provide a unique opportunity for scientists to conduct research in space and to explore the effects of long-duration spaceflight on the human body. 
Robotics Robotics is another important tool in the exploration of the universe. Robots can be used to explore environments that are too dangerous or inaccessible for humans, such as the surface of other planets or the depths of the ocean. Robotic probes, such as NASA's Mars rovers, are designed to explore the surface of other planets, providing scientists with detailed information about their composition and behavior. These robots are equipped with cameras, sensors, and other scientific instruments, allowing them to collect data and perform experiments on the surface of these planets. Robots are also used to explore the depths of the ocean, allowing scientists to study underwater environments and the behavior of marine life. These robots are equipped with cameras and other sensors, allowing scientists to explore and study these environments in detail. Conclusion In conclusion, spacecraft and robotics play a critical role in the exploration of the universe. They provide scientists with the tools they need to explore and study the universe beyond the limits of the Earth's atmosphere. Spacecraft allow scientists to study celestial bodies from a distance, while probes and robots allow for detailed exploration and experimentation on the surface of these bodies. As our understanding of the universe continues to deepen, the use of spacecraft and robotics will remain a critical aspect of the exploration and study of the universe. Exploring the universe through telescopes Telescopes have played a critical role in the exploration of the universe for centuries. They allow scientists to study celestial objects in detail, from nearby planets to distant galaxies. There are many types of telescopes, each with its own strengths and limitations. Optical telescopes Optical telescopes are the most common type of telescope and are used to study visible light from celestial objects. They can be used to study planets, stars, and galaxies, and can provide detailed information about their composition, behavior, and history. There are several types of optical telescopes, including refracting telescopes and reflecting telescopes. Refracting telescopes use lenses to bend and focus light, while reflecting telescopes use mirrors to reflect and focus light. Each type has its own advantages and disadvantages, depending on the specific application. Radio telescopes Radio telescopes are used to study radio waves emitted by celestial objects. These waves can provide information about the composition and behavior of celestial bodies, as well as the structure of the universe. Radio telescopes are typically very large and require a lot of space to operate. They can be used to study distant galaxies and other objects that emit radio waves, providing scientists with a unique perspective on the universe. X-ray telescopes X-ray telescopes are used to study X-rays emitted by celestial objects, such as black holes and neutron stars. These objects emit X-rays due to their intense gravitational fields and can provide insight into the behavior of these objects. X-ray telescopes require specialized technology and are typically launched into space, as X-rays are absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere. They can provide detailed information about the behavior of black holes and other celestial objects, providing scientists with a unique perspective on the universe. Conclusion In conclusion, telescopes have played a critical role in the exploration of the universe for centuries. They allow scientists to study celestial objects in detail, providing insight into the composition, behavior, and history of the universe. There are many types of telescopes, each with its own strengths and limitations, allowing scientists to study the universe in different ways. As technology continues to advance, 
telescopes will remain a critical tool in the exploration and study of the universe. Exploring the Universe Through Computer Simulations Computer simulations are an increasingly important tool in the exploration of the universe. They allow scientists to model complex phenomena that are difficult or impossible to observe directly, providing insight into the behavior and evolution of the universe. Simulating the Formation of the Universe Computer simulations are used to model the formation and evolution of the universe from the Big Bang to the present day. These simulations take into account the complex interactions between dark matter, baryonic matter, and other forces that shaped the universe over billions of years. These simulations can provide insight into the large-scale structure of the universe, including the distribution of galaxies and other celestial bodies. They can also help scientists understand the role of dark matter and dark energy in the formation and evolution of the universe. Simulating the behavior of celestial objects. Computer simulations are also used to model the behavior of celestial objects, such as black holes, neutron stars, and supernovae. These simulations can provide insight into the physics of these objects and the processes that govern their behavior. For example, simulations of black hole mergers have provided insight into the properties of these objects, such as their mass, spin, and gravitational waves. Simulations of supernovae can provide insight into the complex processes that lead to their explosions and the creation of heavy elements in the universe. Simulating Future Exploration Computer simulations can also be used to model future exploration of the universe. For example, simulations can be used to plan and optimize space missions, taking into account factors such as trajectory, fuel consumption, and scientific objectives. Simulations can also be used to predict the behavior of the universe under different scenarios, such as the evolution of galaxies or the fate of the universe in the distant future. These simulations can provide insight into the long-term behavior of the universe and help guide future scientific exploration. Conclusion In conclusion, computer simulations are an increasingly important tool in the exploration of the universe. They allow scientists to model complex phenomena and provide insight into the behavior and evolution of the universe. Simulations can be used to model the formation of the universe, the behavior of celestial objects, and the future of scientific exploration. As technology continues to advance, simulations will remain a critical tool in the exploration and study of the universe. Exploring the universe through gravitational lensing Reference systems in relativity, concepts and differences between absolute and relativistic reference systems in relativity. Reference frames in relativity, absolute and relative reference frames in relativity theory. The theory of relativity is a fundamental pillar of modern physics, and it describes the nature of space, time, and gravity in the universe. One of the key concepts in relativity theory is the idea of reference frames, which are used to describe the motion of objects in space and time. In relativity theory, there are two types of reference frames, absolute and relative. Absolute reference frames are those that are fixed and do not change with respect to the universe. In contrast, relative reference frames are those that are moving with respect to an observer or a reference point. Absolute reference frames were the predominant view in physics before the advent of relativity theory. These reference frames were thought to be fixed and unchanging, and all measurements were made relative to these frames. However, the theory of relativity showed that there is no such thing as an absolute reference frame, and all measurements are relative to an observer or a reference point. 
In relativity theory, the reference frame is a crucial concept because it affects how we measure space and time. For example, the concept of time dilation in relativity theory is based on the idea that time passes differently depending on the reference frame of the observer. This means that time passes more slowly in a reference frame that is moving relative to the observer than in a reference frame that is at rest relative to the observer. Another important concept in relativity theory is the speed of light. According to relativity theory, the speed of light is constant and the same for all observers, regardless of their reference frame. This means that the speed of light is invariant and does not change with the observer's motion or the motion of the source of light. The theory of relativity has significant implications for our understanding of the universe, from the behavior of black holes to the structure of the universe on a large scale. It also has practical applications, such as in the GPS system, which uses relativity theory to correct for the effects of time dilation on the satellites in orbit. In conclusion, the concept of reference frames is a crucial part of relativity theory, which is the foundation of modern physics. Absolute reference frames, which were once thought to be fixed and unchanging, have been replaced by relative reference frames, which are moving with respect to an observer or a reference point. The concept of reference frames affects our understanding of time dilation, the speed of light, and many other fundamental aspects of the universe. The concept of reference frames is central to the theory of relativity, as it provides a framework for describing the motion of objects in space and time. The distinction between absolute and relative reference frames is an important one, as it highlights the fact that all measurements are made relative to an observer or reference point. In relativity theory, an absolute reference frame is one that is stationary and does not move with respect to the universe. This type of reference frame was once thought to exist in physics, but the theory of relativity showed that there is no such thing as an absolute reference frame. Instead, all measurements are relative to the observer or reference point, and there is no preferred frame of reference in the universe. A relative reference frame, on the other hand, is one that is moving with respect to an observer or reference point. This type of reference frame is used to describe the motion of objects relative to the observer or reference point. In relativity theory, the laws of physics are the same in all relative reference frames, and there is no privileged frame of reference. One of the key consequences of the relativity of reference frames is that time and space are not absolute, but are relative to the observer or reference point. This means that time and space can appear to be different depending on the observer's motion or the motion of the reference point. For example, the concept of time dilation in relativity theory states that time passes more slowly in a reference frame that is moving relative to an observer than in a reference frame that is at rest relative to the observer. This effect has been observed in experiments involving high-speed particles and is an essential component of the GPS system. Another consequence of the relativity of reference frames is that the speed of light is constant and independent of the observer's motion or the motion of the source of light. This fundamental principle of relativity theory has been confirmed by numerous experiments and has important implications for our understanding of the universe. In conclusion, the concept of reference frames is a crucial aspect of relativity theory, which describes the behavior of objects in space and time. The distinction between absolute and relative reference frames highlights the fact that all measurements are made relative to an observer or reference point. And there is no privileged frame of reference in the universe. The relativity of reference frames has significant implications for our understanding of time, space, and the behavior of light, and it has been confirmed by numerous experiments. Relativity theory has had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe, and the concept of reference frames is a central part of this theory. 
The distinction between absolute and relative reference frames highlights the fact that all measurements are made relative to an observer or reference point. And there is no privileged frame of reference in the universe. One of the most famous consequences of relativity theory is the concept of time dilation. Which describes the fact that time passes more slowly in a reference frame that is moving relative to an observer than in a reference frame that is at rest relative to the observer. This effect has been confirmed by numerous experiments, and it has important implications for our understanding of the behavior of particles at high speeds and the functioning of GPS systems. Another consequence of relativity theory is the equivalence of mass and energy, as described by Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared. This equation shows that mass and energy are interchangeable, and it has important implications for our understanding of nuclear reactions and the behavior of particles at high energies. The concept of reference frames is also important in our understanding of the behavior of light. According to relativity theory, the speed of light is constant and the same for all observers, regardless of their reference frame. This means that the speed of light is invariant and does not change with the observer's motion or the motion of the source of light. This fundamental principle has been confirmed by numerous experiments and is one of the key principles of relativity theory. In conclusion, the concept of reference frames is a crucial part of relativity theory, which has had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe. The distinction between absolute and relative reference frames highlights the fact that all measurements are made relative to an observer or reference point. And there is no privileged frame of reference in the universe. The concepts of time dilation, equivalence of mass and energy, and the constancy of the speed of light are all consequences of relativity theory that have been confirmed by numerous experiments and have important implications for our understanding of the universe. The concept of reference frames in relativity theory is essential in understanding the behavior of objects in space and time. It provides a framework for describing the motion of objects relative to an observer or reference point. The distinction between absolute and relative reference frames is crucial, as it highlights the fact that all measurements are made relative to an observer or reference point. Cosmic emission sources and how they affect the Earth Radiation is a powerful and potentially dangerous force in the universe. From cosmic rays to gamma ray bursts, there are many sources of radiation in the cosmos that can impact Earth in a variety of ways. One of the most significant sources of radiation in the universe is the Sun. Solar radiation includes visible light, ultraviolet radiation, and X-rays, and it has a profound impact on the Earth's climate and ecosystems. While some forms of solar radiation, such as visible light, are necessary for life on Earth, excessive exposure to ultraviolet radiation can cause skin damage and increase the risk of skin cancer. Another source of radiation in the universe is cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles that originate outside of our solar system. While cosmic rays are constantly bombarding the Earth, the planet's magnetic field and atmosphere provide some protection from their harmful effects. However, astronauts and space travelers outside of Earth's protective magnetic field are at a higher risk of exposure to cosmic radiation. Gamma ray bursts, which are intense bursts of gamma ray radiation, are another source of radiation in the universe. While they are rare, Gamma ray bursts can have catastrophic effects on the Earth's atmosphere and biosphere if they occur in our galaxy. Scientists continue to study these phenomena to better understand their potential impact on our planet. Human activities can also contribute to the radiation environment on Earth. For example, 
nuclear power plants and nuclear weapons testing release radioactive materials into the environment, which can have significant and long-lasting effects on the health and well-being of living organisms. To protect ourselves from the harmful effects of radiation, it is important to understand the sources and types of radiation that exist in the universe and on Earth. This includes developing technologies and techniques for measuring and monitoring radiation levels and mitigating the impact of radiation on human health and the environment. Overall, the study of radiation in the universe is a complex and interdisciplinary field that requires the collaboration of scientists, engineers, medical professionals, policymakers, and the public. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the cosmos, it is important to remember the potential impact of radiation and take steps to protect ourselves and the planet. In addition to natural sources of radiation, there are also human-made sources of radiation that can impact the environment and public health. These sources include nuclear power plants, medical equipment such as X-ray machines and CT scanners, and radioactive waste. Nuclear power plants generate electricity by using nuclear reactors to produce heat, which is then used to generate steam and power turbines. While nuclear power is a relatively clean and efficient source of energy, it also produces radioactive waste that can be harmful to the environment and public health if not properly handled and stored. Medical imaging equipment, such as X-ray machines and CT scanners, use ionizing radiation to produce images of the body's internal structures. While these imaging technologies are essential for medical diagnosis and treatment, they also expose patients to radiation and must be used judiciously to minimize the risk of harm. Radioactive waste is another significant source of radiation in the environment. This waste can come from a variety of sources, including nuclear power plants, medical facilities, and industrial processes. Proper disposal and management of radioactive waste is critical to protecting public health and the environment from the harmful effects of radiation. To minimize the impact of human-made sources of radiation on the environment and public health, it is important to develop and implement effective radiation safety standards and regulations. This includes proper handling and disposal of radioactive waste, as well as minimizing radiation exposure through appropriate use of medical imaging equipment and nuclear power plants. In addition, public education and awareness about the risks and benefits of radiation are essential. For ensuring that individuals are informed and able to make informed decisions about their exposure to radiation. Overall, the impact of radiation on the environment and public health is a complex and ongoing challenge that requires ongoing research, regulation, and public education. As we continue to rely on radiation for energy, medicine, and other applications. It is essential to minimize the potential harm and ensure that the benefits of radiation are balanced against the risks. Radioactivity is a phenomenon that occurs naturally in the universe, and human activities have also contributed to its presence in our environment. Radiation can be classified into two main types, ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation has enough energy to ionize atoms and molecules, which means it can strip electrons from their orbits, potentially causing chemical changes and damage to living cells. Examples of ionizing radiation include X-rays, gamma rays, and cosmic rays. Non-ionizing radiation, on the other hand, does not have enough energy to ionize atoms and molecules, and includes radio waves, microwaves, and visible light. 
One of the most significant sources of ionizing radiation is radon, a colorless, odorless gas that is a natural byproduct of the decay of uranium and thorium in the Earth's crust. Radon can seep into buildings and homes, where it can accumulate to levels that are hazardous to human health, increasing the risk of lung cancer. In addition to radon, other natural sources of ionizing radiation include cosmic radiation from space and radiation from naturally occurring isotopes such as potassium-40, carbon-14, and uranium-238. These sources of radiation are generally not harmful in small doses, but can be dangerous at high levels of exposure. Human activities have also contributed to the presence of ionizing radiation in the environment. For example, nuclear weapons testing, nuclear accidents such as the Chernobyl disaster, and nuclear power plants all release radioactive materials into the environment, which can have long-lasting and harmful effects on human health and the environment. To protect ourselves from the harmful effects of radiation, it is important to understand the sources and types of radiation that exist in the environment. And to take appropriate measures to minimize exposure. This includes measures such as proper ventilation to reduce radon levels in homes, safe handling and disposal of radioactive waste, and appropriate use of medical imaging equipment. Overall, the study of radiation in the environment is a complex and interdisciplinary field that requires ongoing research, regulation, and public education. By working together to better understand and manage radiation, we can protect ourselves and our environment from its potentially harmful effects. Ionizing radiation has a range of applications in various fields, including medicine, industry, and research. One of the most common medical uses of ionizing radiation is in diagnostic imaging, such as X-rays and computed tomography, CT, scans. which use ionizing radiation to create images of the body's internal structures. Radiation therapy is another medical application, which uses ionizing radiation to destroy cancerous cells. In industry, ionizing radiation is used in a variety of applications such as sterilization of medical equipment. Food irradiation to extend shelf life, and non-destructive testing of materials such as metals and plastics. Ionizing radiation is also used in research to study the properties and behavior of materials, to create new materials, and to study the effects of radiation on living organisms. Physical experiments confirm the theory of relativity, Famous experiments have been done to confirm the correctness of the theory of relativity. Physics experiments confirming the theory of relativity. The theory of relativity, developed by Albert Einstein in the early 20th century, is one of the most important and influential theories in modern physics. It describes the fundamental nature of space, time, and gravity and has been confirmed by numerous experiments and observations over the past century. Here are some of the most famous experiments that have confirmed the theory of relativity. The Michelson-Morley Experiment The Michelson-Morley Experiment was conducted in the late 19th century to test the idea that the speed of light is constant in all directions, regardless of the motion of the observer. The experiment found no evidence to support the idea of a luminiferous ether, a hypothetical substance that was thought to permeate all of space and serve as the medium for light waves. This experiment laid the groundwork for Einstein's theory of relativity, which incorporated the idea of a constant speed of light into its framework. The pound ripka Experiment the pound ripka experiment was conducted in the 1960s to test the effect of gravity on the frequency of light. 
The experiment involved measuring the frequency of gamma rays emitted by a source at the bottom of a tower and comparing it to the frequency of gamma rays received at the top of the tower. The experiment found that the frequency of the gamma rays was slightly lower at the top of the tower than at the bottom. Confirming the theory of relativity's prediction that gravity can cause time to run more slowly in a stronger gravitational field. The Hathalik-Keating Experiment The Hathalik-Keating Experiment was conducted in the 1970s to test the effect of gravity on time dilation, another prediction of the theory of relativity. The experiment involved flying atomic clocks around the world on commercial airplanes and comparing their readings to those of stationary atomic clocks on the ground. The experiment found that the clocks on the airplanes ran slightly slower than the stationary clocks on the ground. Confirming the theory of relativity's prediction that time dilation can occur when objects are in motion. The Gravity Probe B Experiment the Gravity Probe B experiment, conducted by NASA in the early 2000s, was designed to measure the effect of the Earth's gravity on the rotation of four gyroscopes in orbit around the Earth. The experiment was one of the most precise tests of the theory of relativity ever conducted and confirmed its predictions about the effects of gravity on space and time. Conclusion In conclusion, the theory of relativity has been confirmed by numerous experiments and observations over the past century. The Mitchelson-Morley experiment, the pound ribka experiment, the Hafele-Keating experiment, and the gravity probe B experiment are just a few of the many experiments that have confirmed the theory's predictions about the nature of space, time, and gravity. These experiments have provided a wealth of data and insights into the fundamental nature of the universe and have helped shape modern physics as we know it today. Applications of the Theory of Relativity The theory of relativity, developed by Albert Einstein in the early 20th century, has had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe. It has also had many practical applications in areas such as GPS technology, particle physics, and cosmology. Here are some examples of how the theory of relativity has been applied in different fields. GPS technology. GPS, or Global Positioning System, is a technology that relies on the precise timing of signals sent and received by satellites to determine the location of an object on Earth. However, the satellites orbiting Earth are affected by the gravitational pull of the planet, which can cause their clocks to run slightly slower than clocks on the ground. To correct for this effect, the GPS system must take into account the time dilation predicted by the theory of relativity. Without this correction, GPS devices would accumulate errors of several kilometers per day, making them virtually useless for navigation. Particle physics. The theory of relativity has also had a major impact on the field of particle physics. It predicts that particles traveling at high speeds will experience time dilation, meaning that time will appear to run more slowly for them than for stationary observers. This effect has been observed in experiments at particle accelerators, where high speed particles have been shown to have longer lifetimes than their stationary counterparts. This has important implications for the study of subatomic particles, as it allows scientists to study particles that would otherwise decay too quickly to be observed. Cosmology The theory of relativity has also had a significant impact on our understanding of the universe as a whole. It predicts that the fabric of space and time can be warped by the presence of matter and energy, leading to phenomena such as gravitational lensing and the formation of black holes. These predictions have been confirmed by observations of distant galaxies and the cosmic microwave background radiation. Providing strong evidence for the existence of dark matter and dark energy, two of the biggest mysteries in modern cosmology. Nuclear energy. The theory of relativity also played a role in the development of nuclear energy. It predicts that a small amount of mass can be converted into a large amount of energy, 
which was demonstrated in the famous equation E equals mc squared. This equation has been applied in nuclear reactors and weapons, where the conversion of a small amount of mass into energy can produce a tremendous amount of power. Conclusion In conclusion, the theory of relativity has had far-reaching applications in many different fields, from GPS technology to cosmology to nuclear energy. Its predictions have been confirmed by numerous experiments and observations, providing insights into the fundamental nature of the universe and helping to shape our modern understanding of physics. As technology and observation techniques continue to improve, we can expect to gain even more insights and applications from this groundbreaking theory. The Concept of Space-Time and the Theory of Relativity The theory of relativity, developed by Albert Einstein in the early 20th century, revolutionized our understanding of space, time, and gravity. One of the most fundamental concepts in the theory is that of space-time, which combines space and time into a single, four-dimensional continuum. Here, we will explore the concept of space-time and its implications in the theory of relativity. Space-time is a four-dimensional continuum. In the theory of relativity, space-time is considered to be a single, four-dimensional continuum in which events occur. This is in contrast to classical physics, which treats space and time as separate and distinct entities. According to the theory of relativity, the curvature of space-time is influenced by the presence of mass and energy, which can cause objects to move along curved paths rather than straight lines. This curvature is what we perceive as the force of gravity. The Effects of Space-Time on the Behavior of Objects The concept of space-time has important implications for the behavior of objects in the universe. For example, the theory of relativity predicts that the faster an object moves through space-time, the slower time appears to pass for that object relative to a stationary observer. This effect, known as time dilation, has been confirmed in numerous experiments, such as those involving high-speed particles and atomic clocks. Similarly, the theory of relativity predicts that objects with mass cannot exceed the speed of light, as this would require an infinite amount of energy to overcome the curvature of space-time. This prediction has also been confirmed by experiments and observations. The Implications of Space-Time for the Nature of the Universe The concept of space-time has profound implications for our understanding of the universe as a whole. For example, the curvature of space-time can cause light to be bent as it passes near massive objects, such as galaxies or black holes. This effect, known as gravitational lensing, has been used to study the distribution of dark matter in the universe. 